Let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Exams. Now, because you're watching this video, I am going to assume that you are preparing for one of these exams. There's uh, different exams that you have to take to be a teacher in New York. Now, before we get into this particular problem, if you're studying for any uh, particular New York State Teacher Certification Exam and you're not quite sure your math skills are up for the challenge, make sure to check out my uh, New York State Teacher Certification Exams. Uh, I have multiple uh, test prep courses. You can find links to all these different uh, test prep courses in the description of this video. But before we get into uh, how to do this problem, matter of fact, let me tell you what we're gonna do here. We're going to do some basic algebra. We're going to graph this simple linear equation. And uh, a problem like this would be pretty much on all New York State teacher certification exams you're going to take, right? So just because you might be taking, let's say, for example, the birth through second grade exam, yes, indeed, you'll still need to know some algebra. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades, and I certainly know what it's like to take uh, teacher certification exams. This is critical for your career, and the worst thing that uh, can happen is you go in and fail the exam because you didn't study enough. So let's make sure you understand uh, the math that you're going to need to pass these exams. And uh, let's take a look at this simple problem. Again, we're talking about basic algebra. So we have y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 1. Now, what we want to do here is quickly sketch this linear equation. All right, so we want to graph it, and we're talking about a quick sketch. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And if you have a piece of paper and pencil handy, maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can come up with a quick sketch. You don't need graph paper to do this problem. Okay, so we have y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 1. Now, the first thing that we need to understand here is that this linear equation, all right, so this is an equation, and it's a linear equation. So what does this word mean, linear? Well, the root word here is line. So this is, the, uh, this is an equation of a line. Okay, so we can actually graph this thing, and uh, this equation happens to be written in y equals mx plus b form. So this is uh, definitely things that you need to know on any New York State teacher certification exam. We're talking about basic first year algebra. Okay, now y equals mx plus b form means what? Well, we can see here our equation is y equals a number times x plus another number. Now the number in front of the x, this m is the slope. Okay, so this is the slope of the line which is basically going to give us the angle or steepness of the line. And I'll show you how we uh, do that in just one second. So in this equation, 2 thirds is the slope. And the B right here is the y-intercept. All right, so this one is the y-intercept. And this is the location. The line intersects the y-axis. So here we have the y-axis and the x-axis. This line here is going to intersect at this point here. So when you have a line or a linear equation in y equals mx plus b form, it's very easy to graph. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. And there is a lot to know about linear equations, but uh, the whole point of this video is just a quick review on how to graph lines when they are in y equals mx plus b form. So the first thing that you want to do is just kind of sketch out a quick xy plane, coordinate plane. So here is the y-axis and here is the x-axis. You know, try to be as neat as possible, but uh, you know, you don't have to be perfect. So I have my x-y coordinate plane here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to start at the y-intercept, okay? So we need two points to graph this line, right? So I can't graph a line unless I have at least two points, right? Now, three points or four points are even better because what we're gonna do is kinda like connect the dots, but I certainly can't graph a line if I only know one point that is on the line, right? So I don't know if the line goes this way or this way. I need at least two points. Okay, so our first point that's going to be on this line is the y-intercept, all right? So that is one. So on the y-axis, we're going to go to one. 
Now, just a quick review, the way the X and Y axis works, these are basically like the real number lines, num real number lines here. So here is zero, okay, we call this the origin. So we have positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive five. Here we have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative four, et cetera. Here we have positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, et cetera. So if you have graph paper, well, that is fantastic. But, uh, you know, as long as you have a basic sketch here, uh, you know, that's really all you need to get the general feel of how the graph uh, looks for this particular linear equation. Okay, so step number one is to plot the y-intercept. So that is this right here. Remember, we have y equals mx plus b, and b is the y-intercept. So we need to go to this point on the y-axis. So this is one on the y-axis. So we have one point that is on the line. So now we need that second point. So how do we find that second point? Well, we're going to use the slope as kind of like driving directions to get to the second point. And uh, the directions start from the y-intercept. So from this point, we're going to use the slope information to get to that second point. And once we know that second point, we can draw the line. Okay, so how do we interpret this uh, two-thirds? All right, let's take a closer look at the slope. So the slope of this line is two-thirds. Now, the top number is the rise of the line, and the bottom number is the run. All right, so the slope is defined as the rise over the run of a line. So that means that this line is going to rise two. In other words, it's going to go up two in this direction. For every three, it runs out, and the run of a line is always to the right. Now, I'm not covering every single thing you need to know about linear equations, but uh, this is basically how you interpret the slope to get to the second point. So from the y-intercept, we're going to go up two and then over three, all right? So we're gonna rise two, and then we're gonna run out three to the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that from here. So here's our one, we're gonna go up two. So one, two, that brings us to three, right? So we had one, two, three, and then we're gonna go out right three, one, two, three. So this is our second point. Now, the actual coordinates here for these points would be what? Well, we're talking about x, y ordered pairs. So this point right here is zero on the x and one on the y. And this point right here is three on the x and three on the y, right? So this is the coordinate three, three. So you may be asked uh, to actually define uh, the coordinates, but these two uh, points are on the uh, on this line. Okay, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. But now we have two points that are on this line. So all we need to do is sketch a nice little lovely line that goes through those two points. And this is the linear equation. This is the line of this equation right here. Okay, so how do we know a point is on a line? So let's suppose we had some other point right here or right here. And uh, we want to just make sure that the, uh, these points are actually on this particular line. Well, the way you do that is you simply plug in these x, y points into the equation and see if the equation balances. So, for example, I can test this point 3, 3 to make sure it's on this line. Okay, so in other words, this is an x, y ordered pair. So x is 3 and y is 3. So if I plug in a 3 for this y, and a three for this x, well, the equation should balance. Let's take a look at that algebra right now. So again, we have y is equal to two thirds x plus one. Now I'm kind of doing this freehand because this is what you're gonna have to do on your exam. So you have to try to you know, work as quickly as possible, but as neat as possible as well. So let's suppose the question is, is the point 3, 3 on this line, okay? So again, uh, x is 3 and y is 3. So we're going to replace uh, y and x with 3 and see what happens. Okay, so instead of y, we're going to put a 3. So is 3 equal to 2 thirds times 3 plus 1? Okay, so I kind of want to keep this nice color coding going, going here. Now, if the left equals the right, 
this point satisfies the equation, so uh, it would mean that this point is indeed on the line. So we have three is equal to two thirds times three. So the threes cross cancel here. So we're left with two plus one. And of course you can see that three is equal to three. So that is true. So because uh, this ordered pair three, three balances this equation, that means that this point is on this line. So this is just a quick review on how to graph linear equations in y equals mx plus b form on a simple x, y uh, plane. All right, so this is critically important in terms of any New York State teacher certification exam that you will be taking. All right, now again, if you need additional help on any of these exams, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. But with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your teaching career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.